feel it. Like, I'll get into this mood, and all I want to do is blast music and start moving. <laughs> the reason why I dance is because I feel like that's the way I can express myself. I dance because it's something for myself. It's something that, like, I do to uh, relieve stress. I dance to express myself, to relieve stress, and just to, if I'm bored, I'll put music on, and it just, it really comes naturally. I think just anyone, if you have music on, you're just going to want to dance, and dance because I love it. I've done it, it's like, forever, so it's just something I do. My grandmother danced for Balanchine. She was one of the, like, the forerunners for uh, the New York City Ballet, and my mom danced with the Pittsburgh Ballet Company, and my family runs a ballet school, so I've been, dance I've been doing ballet since I was two. And then just from there, like, my family always encouraged me to like, get involved in other stuff. Like, I learned about African dance when I was like 13, 14. And, like, I've just always kind of been in it, so it's, it's in my blood and it just runs through me. Like, it's great. <laughs> so I started the team because I saw there was a lot of other dance teams on campus and I felt like I didn't fit into any of their style of dance and I knew there was a lot of people out there like me that kind of wanted to venture out and do different things but still be on a committed team. So I'm like, why not start my own team and become the Warriors? I was the only person to to actually start the team. I was kind of by myself so a lot of people were telling me, why didn't you join this team? Why didn't you join that team? And I was like, they don't fit my style, and I feel like it's bad if I want to join a dance team that I don't like dancing for. I'm not saying that they're bad people, I just don't like their style of dance. Um, so I'm like, why not start my own team? And also, it was hard getting respect from a lot of the other teams because they felt like we were just, a lot of people call us droppies type of from other teams. Like, oh, if you don't make it here, you could go there. And that's not really true. So it was hard to gain respect, but I feel like a lot of the other teams on campus have a lot of history, and they already have a fan base. And we don't, but that's fine, because, you know, history takes time. Well, I joined the Warriors because a cool friend of mine told me about it, and I thought it would be a way um, to meet new people and to be, like, part of a team on campus and do something that I love with other people who love the same thing. The Warriors was an opportunity for me to expand my dancing with all the diversity and also to just continue dancing. I had seen other dance teams and stuff and I had tried out but like I wasn't strict enough for one and I wasn't hard enough for another so like eventually like I kind of just like I didn't really fit a niche but and then like the Warriors popped up and it was like about like blending styles and that was like me like to a T. So tie on up here. <laughs> I tried out for Culture Shock and I didn't make it and I was looking for another dance team because I was I did dance throughout high school, school like all during school, so I need a dance team. I need some something active and my roommate actually was friends with Cynthia in a class and heard about her new dance team and I tried out and I made it and I liked all the girls, they were all different and it was just it was like all homey and Nice and yeah. Dance Evil is when Culture Shock every year they do this whole big dance competition and at the first part of the show is kind of the dance team, um, Warriors, Culture Shock, and I think a, like a whole bunch of other dance teams on campus that they invite to just do like a guest performance. And then the other half is kind of a competition for other dance teams and they can like win a prize. Uh, we we did Dance Evil last year. Um, it was really fun. And this year, we're doing Dance Evil again. And we hope to be great. I'm actually very excited about it. I hear that it's going to be an intense crowd. And there's going to be so many different dance teams from different schools. And it's just going to be so much fun. I'm excited because I actually made up a hip hop move for it. And I'm like, all the girls on the team know like I'm not like hip hop. so. I, I've been trying for Dance Evo to become more like out of my shell and like try to do like a hip hop thing and like I made up a move and I was so proud of myself but that should be fun. My mom's coming up for it so. I think this Dance Evo is going to be really good. I think we have a lot of different stuff going on this year. Like we're more together like we kind of like it's not so rushed and it's not so like oh my god we're new here. Like we kind of we have a name now. We have more people like and like we're kind of more in our group now. I'm still scared though. It's hard to be 
committed to practicing every day, kind of doing the same thing over and over, but we have to do it because we have to be like really good. And the thing about last year, kind of a lot of people were very supportive of the team and they gave like a lot of uh, a lot of positive notes. Like they were very, very welcoming. Like, oh, this is a new team. This is their first time. But we no longer have that little like, oh, they're a new team. It's kind of like, oh, you guys should know what you're doing. So this team, we this year, we really don't have that type of system. I think we're much more prepared than last year, and we're gonna kick butt because that's what we do.